Well, welcome to day three of getting organized with Google. Today is a very important day because we're going to be talking about Google Drive. Now, Drive is an awesome tool for teachers. It's great for creating assignments for students, for helping students collaborate and create things. However, Google Drive is also a terrifying tool. Google provides us with unlimited storage which can be a problem. Uh, most teachers come to me and of all of the Google tools and products, Google Drive is the one they struggle with the most because it has a tendency to be difficult to organize and manage. And that's what we're going to get into today. There are lots of things you can do to um, organize Drive. Today, I'm going to be showing you three very simple uh, specific things that you can do. We're going to talk about folders and the importance of them. We're going to talk about emoji in folders, and then we're going to talk about creating an archive folder in Google Drive. So let's jump right in. You are looking at my Google Drive account right now. First thing I want you to do is take a little uh, Google Drive self-assessment. Open up your Drive account. Um, I like to switch when I'm doing this the to um, grid view, which is where you see the little icons here. Uh, if you click over in the right corner, you can switch between list view, which is what this is, and grid view. Um, I prefer grid view. What I want you to do is to switch to grid view and then just tell me what you see. You're going to see one of two things. You are either going to see a whole bunch of folders like you do right here, or you might see a whole bunch of files like this. Now, the goal is to see mostly or only folders. Now, nobody's perfect. Um, even I have a bunch of uh, just files laying around here as well. Here's the basic um, lesson. Every file should be in a folder. If your Google Drive account is a city and every file is a person and all of the folders are houses, the question is, how many homeless people live in your Google Drive city? So all of these files right here are homeless. They should be in a folder. Now, it will take you time to do this. We're just trying to make progress. We're not trying to be perfect. The first thing that you need to do to begin organizing your Google Drive account is to make sure that you have a folder for every class that you teach, committee that you serve on, um, every topic that you deal with on a regular basis. You want to be able to put your files into folders. This is going to become very helpful when we talk about share with me and student work. And this is just the foundational tool for everything. To create a new folder, you're just going to click on the new button on the top left corner. Um, your Google Drive account may not look exactly like mine. It just got updated. But um, in the left corner, you'll see either a blue button or uh, this new fancy one. Click on new and create a folder and give it a name. Now that's the basics. Now let me just show you the files I have for this particular course. So if I open up Google Drive, I have uh, I teach several online courses, including this one. So I have a folder called online courses. Now inside of that online course folder, I have a subfolder for each class that I teach. So it keeps all of those course materials organized. So here's the folder for this particular course. And then I have another subfolder for every lesson in the course. So right now I'm working on number three, getting organized, uh, Google Drive. And so all of the files and videos, this video is going to go into this folder um, later on, go right here. You will have to decide how deep and detailed you want your folder list to be. But this is the key to organizing your things first off. Now, the part that people get freaked out about and frustrated by is that shared with me area of Google Drive. Um, so if I go uh, close out my drive, I'm going to go over here to shared with me. So these are the files that other people have given me access to. Maybe I want them. Maybe I don't. You're going to see all of your student work in here. The key to organizing shared with me is that if you see a file that you need, you're like, oh, yeah, I need to, to access that on a regular basis. You want to drag it out of shared with me and dump it into one of your existing folders. Now, when you do that, you're not making a copy of the file. You are simply organizing the original where you can find it more easily. 
other people don't get access to your folders. You're just putting it somewhere where you can, can get to it. So that's my first tip. That's the most important one. Put your stuff in folders. Now we can take this to the next level a little bit. You'll notice if you look here on the left that these folders have little pictures on them. That is an emoji symbol. Now, emoji can be very helpful in organizing files in Google Drive. What you're going to do is you're going to install a Chrome extension for emoji, and I'll give you the link to that in the um, uh, comments of this video and the, the assignment for the week. Uh, you're going to install that extension. So I've got it uh, already up here. <clears throat> I click this little unicorn, and I'm going to just select whatever emoji I think would work best for my particular uh, folder. These are all the standard emoji characters that you'll see. I'm just going to click on it and that's going to copy it. Now I'm going to go to a folder and right click on it. I'm going to say change name or rename. And I'm just going to paste that control V somewhere in the file name. Now, if you put it at the beginning of the file name, it will move that folder to the top of your folder list so that it's a little bit easier to find. So I do the, that for uh, some of my most uh, common folders that I use on a daily basis. That's tip number two. So put your stuff in folders. If you want to try it out, add some emoji to those folders. Tip number three is... Um, one that some of you may find helpful, some may not. It's uh, it's totally up to you. I have a lot of folders, but you know you work on a project, um, you're on a committee, and then it's done. It's over, and so your folder list can get quite long over time. And so what I will do is I create a folder. I do a lot of technology training for schools. I have a folder called Training Archive, and in that folder I organize it by year. And after I have completed a training for a school, so this one right here, St. Rose, that one's done. That was in January of 2018. I move it out of my master folder list and I dump it into my training archive folder. So this is a 2017 one. Um, this was 2017 one also. And that just helps me organize my files, um, keeps them. I still have all the files, but they're not visible to me. I'm not looking at them all the time. So the third thing that you might want to consider as you organizing, uh, organize your Drive account is to create an archive folder and go through your Google Drive files and find things that you are no longer actively using. Now, if you legitimately don't need it anymore, you're welcome to delete it. That's, that's up to you. But if you think you might need it or might want to refer back to it, or that file has been shared with someone else who is using it, you're going to want to put it into an archive folder rather than deleting it. So those are your three tips for Google Drive. Hopefully that'll help you get started. I'll put a few more tips in our um, document for this week, and uh, hopefully you'll find them helpful.